what is going on guys welcome back to another android application development series in android studio in this series we are going to develop a fully fledged short video application this short video application will be like tiktok or insta reels or you can say youtube shorts in this application we will be using kotlin as a language for android application where we will make user authentication so that user can sign up and log in in the application user will able to make their profiles user will able to follow and unfollow other users and also upload unlimited shorts videos we will be using firebase as a backend for this project so we will learn a lot of things like user authentication video and image picking from android storage recycler review to display the videos firebase integration for the backend and a lot of things so without any delay let's start creating this exciting application from scratch before starting a project i will show you what version i am using this is android studio giraffe that is from 2022 patch 1 so if you are using different android studio version some features might be different but it will not be any problem so let's start with new project so click on new project here in the new android studio if you select empty activity it will create the project with jetpack compose so we don't want that we want to start with xml views so we will select empty views activity click on next here let's give the application name my application name will be a mini clip you can give your own application name in the package name you can give your domain name and the application name this is the good practice we should give the domain name at first and then we will give the application name so that it will be unique every time you can save your project on any location we will select language at kotlin because this project we are doing with kotlin so for minimum sdk you can select any of the sdks if you select latest the features will be latest but this will only support some of the devices we will select android 8.0 oreo so that it will support most of the devices in build configuration language let it be Kotlin DSL that is the recommended one and the latest one you can click over here and select recommended click on finish so our project is created you can see over here we have main activity dot kt kt is the extension of Kotlin and we have activity main dot xml because we have selected views so if you go to activity main dot xml and click on split over here so that we can see code and view at the same time so here you can see we have hello world so let's not change anything just run the application so to run the application either you need one emulator or a physical device so if you want to create the emulator if you don't have any emulator you can go to device manager and here you can see create device let's click on create device you can select any phone from here click on next here you can select the api label click on next here you can give the emulator name anything you can change some configuration or let it be and click on finish so that it will create one emulator i have already created one that's why it is here emulator 1 pixel 6 pro if you want to connect physical device you can do with wi-fi or you can connect the usb let's run the application in this emulator click on run app so you can see log over here is starting intent and it started the mini clip that is main activity so if you go to the emulator you can see over here i have this hello world and our application is started let's go to main activity and in xml let's change this hello world to main activity if we click on this apply changes it will immediately apply changes and restart the activity click on it you can see over here it is immediately reflected that is main activity so let's go back to the project and do some initial setup so first thing we will go to manifest in android manifest.xml we will add some permission the permission we require is first permission is usage permission internet so let's add internet permission and second permission we will be requiring is read external storage because we want to upload images and videos from the external storage that's why we need this permission we are done with the permission you can close android manifest let's go to resource values colors you can see over here we have two colors black and white let's add one more color for my primary so that we can create a color primary color i will give it as a red color so this is the red color you can select any color from here so let's go to themes we have two themes one is day and one is night go to themes.xml and add the color primary so you can delete this comment and item color primary it will be my primary same way we can do on night also go to themes.xml night and paste it here so we are done with the themes as of now you can close themes and colors if we restart the application you can see over here our status bar color has changed because we have changed the primary color 
go back to the project so this was just an introduction video and the project setup so we have done the project setup in next video we will create login activity and sign up activity so that we can create account in our application if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye